Hi everyone. Welcome to Linda Sue Plants for You. Today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite little plants. It's called the Rata, Rata Macara Seneca, I believe it's pronounced. Rata Macara Seneca. And I will put that name on the screen for you all in case you want to look it up. It's also known as the China Doll Plant. And the reason I want to feature this today is because I almost threw it away. And I don't want someone else to make that same mistake. So I thought I'd bring you a short video today just explaining what happened since I've had this plant. I first saw it on um, the Voodoo Garden channel uh, a couple years ago. And he Ray had purchased one. I don't know, it's about maybe this tall. It was a little one, and I think he said he got it at Walmart. And I don't know whatever happened to his, but <clears throat> um, when I saw this, I I snatched it up because when I looked that plant up and saw how beautiful it was and how big it could get, I was really excited. And those of you that follow me know that I really love dainty plants. I mean, I do have bigger leather leaf type plants as well, but... My heart always goes out to these with these dainty little, like, trailing type leaves, although this isn't supposed to be trailing. Um, <clears throat> it is from uh, southern and eastern Asia, I believe, is, is there, its na native habitat. And um, if I remember correctly, it can grow uh, in zones uh, 10 and 11 very well. Um, you can, you know, if you live in a warmer zone, you can grow this outside and it will grow up to 25 or 30 feet if it's given the absolute excellent, um, you know, air, water, light conditions. Um, indoors it grows uh, five to six feet, or a can, I should say. I don't know that I'll ever get to see the, the, the fruits of that, but um, even if she only grows another foot and fills out, I'll be happy with that. One of the things that <clears throat> happened here is I moved her. She does not like to be moved. And I, I lost all but one stem. So when I got my Mars Hydro Light, I put her up under there and I didn't put her too close to the light and she did a little bit better but she just wasn't thriving. It was, she was just stagnant. And I realized after a while she was getting too much light. So I moved her over to another table for the time being. Like I, most of you know, I do very often. I'll, I know I got to do something with a plant and I'm not sure what. So I pick it up, I set it down and, and I end up just setting it somewhere. And sometimes it starts to decline and sometimes it takes off. So you know, sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes it isn't. But I just want you to know that, you know, this was down to one stem. And I, although the in the research that I've done, it says to cut it all the way back. I didn't do that. I left that one stem. And now, as you can see, that stem is becoming pretty hardy. It probably could stand up on its own. However, I do have it staked up and I'm going to continue to stake it up just because I don't want her to fall completely over. So, um, she's growing like a weed and what I did is I put her in on a table in front of my south window about three feet from the window but on that table I also have a lamp with a grow light and that is a, I believe, a daytime grow light. No, not, not no, I think it's the soft, soft white grow light, um, 100 watt equivalent, and I get them at Walmart, Walmart for six or seven dollars for a box full, and there's either four in a box or six in a box. I forget now. They're very inexpensive. And anyway, so I put her under that lamp, and it's important to let her dry down a little bit. It's better to underwater her than overwater. She can be overwatered very easily, and you will kill her. Um, she does not like to be overwatered. Uh, <clears throat> so I 
the, the top of the soil is, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. It's, I watered this plant two days ago and it's, it's kind of dry. Now, if I stick my finger down in here, it's, it's damp. It's what we would consider moist. Okay. Now, if I was just walking by and looking at this at first glance, I can tell, I've got enough experience with plants to be able to look at that soil and say, boy, that looks dry. But it, and it's very tempting to just splash a little bit of water on her, but don't do it. You want to, you want to let, I'm going to let this go one more day. And right now I'm going to guess that the water, the moisture is about this far down. So I'm going to let it go one more day and then I'm going to give her a good, good drink and do not let her sit in standing water. If that water comes through the pot onto your saucer, make sure you dump it out um, because you don't want that sitting in water. You don't want that to soak that back up into the pot. But what's I'm, <laughs> what I'm really excited about in this plant is this growth down here on the bottom is about a week and a half's worth of growth. It just took off like crazy. And I'm so excited about that because she's going to fill in at the bottom, at the crown. This is going to be a gorgeous, gorgeous plant when it's done. Now there is a picture of one on here. And I'm going to show you that and hopefully you can see it. Uh, I can't tell looking in my viewfinder if you're if you're you're able to see this or not. Hopefully you are. But anyways, um, I have seen these on the internet anywhere from six dollars to sixty. I think there was one on there for seventy some dollars, and it wasn't much bigger pot than this. It was the same size pot as this. It was a little bushier plant, which is crazy folks you don't need to pay that much for this uh, especially when you can buy them at Walmart and I don't know if they have any now and I don't know if they'll carry them again but it's worth your while to look around because they're you don't you don't have to pay that kind of money for this um, actually this one I'm looking at here China doll this is the original pot it came in it was $9.99 and I got it at Stein's Garden and Gifts, which is local to our state, I think. So you probably won't be able to have, you. I don't think you have those in a, those stores in other states. But I'm sure you can find it. And um, if I got it at Stein's, I can almost guarantee you it was either <coughs> 30 to 50% off. Because that's usually when I buy plants there. So that would have been anywhere from seven, five to $7, right? Or, or thereabouts. Quick math. I'm not, I'm not good at math, but it's right around that. But what I like about her is she's got these, as dainty as these leaves are, they're, they're kind of leathery feeling, so they feel healthy. And like I said, she does not like to be moved. So once you find that sweet spot, leave her there. Um, she really hates cold, and she hates drafts of any kind, warm or cold. So don't put her anywhere near a fan or a window or a door that you're opening and closing. And another thing to be careful about, because I had this happen to me, if you put your plant in a place that you are walking by a lot, a, a heavy traffic area, that can also harm plants that are susceptible um, to, you know, having something go wrong due to drafts. And you can check this out if you want by just sitting on a chair and have somebody walk past you. You can feel that breeze usually. And if that's going on all day long and you have a plant that's very sensitive to that, you don't want to put it in that area. Uh, I had mine on my side. I had a plant on my side table, um, which is up against a wall where you can't fit any other furniture. So I have a side table. I have all my sensibilities on there. And one, I did have a plant on there and I forget which one it was, but it was might have been was it my Miranta I don't remember now but it 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 declined very quickly and it was because of the breezes because we all walk past that all the time in and out of the from the living room to kitchen and from the living room or kitchen to bathroom it's a high traffic area so just keep that in mind 
All right. Um, soil, I have not changed this since I got it. It's still in its original soil. And I haven't... I haven't fertilized her heavily. I fertilize her the same way I do everything else, which is one quarter strength. Um, it calls for a, a teaspoon of granules to one gallon of water. I use one quarter teaspoon. And it doesn't look like much when it's in the container, but it, it is plenty enough, especially if you water almost every time. I'm sorry, if you fertilize almost every time you water, which I do most most of the time and most of my plants. I, there are exceptions to that as there is everything else in the plant world, but the majority of my plants get fertilized almost every time I water. Uh, once in a while I'm in a hurry, I don't have time to measure it out and and uh, you know fill five gallons of water. I use distilled water so it's kind of a time-consuming process for me, but uh, yeah, mostly mostly I do every time. What else? I'm going to keep an eye on her. I'm, I can see she's going to need a bigger stake, and I'm probably going to do that real soon here. Um, I don't like to wait too long when I restake because I don't want to break roots. And when you put a bigger stake in, you're always taking the chance on breaking roots because you want to put it as close to the crown as you can so that it stands straight up. But... Like I said earlier, they, they suggested when a plant gets like this that you cut off that that wonky part, but I didn't have the heart to do that. So I'm just going to wait and see what happens with her. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think she's going to, I think she's going to flush out on this side. And if she, even if she doesn't, we've got all that growth on the bottom and I'm, and that's growing straight up, so that will eventually fill that in anyway. So no, I'm not going to cut that off. I don't spray her with, um, you know, for humidity. I don't do anything about the humidity, although she does like humidity. And she, if, if, you, if your humidity is really low in your house, you can either put her in a terrarium or some kind of glass-covered container or a bag if you want to do that just to, to boost her her growing um, to get her to grow but keep in mind if you start growing her like that and then you take that humidity away chances are she's going to decline so I don't care to put anything in uh, humid in, in, you know aquariums or anything like that I used to years ago I used to make aquariums I mean uh, terrariums for people and uh, they look beautiful and gorgeous when they're first made but you know because they're so humid Plants grow very fast in there, so they very quickly outgrow that space that they're in, and then you have to redo them. So I don't, I don't advocate that. I don't. Some people like to do them and redo them, and and that's great if that's if that's you know what your thing. But for me, it, it's just not. It's not a. I have enough to take care of, so I don't. I don't care to do that anymore. Um, I think we talked about the light temperature. She likes 65 to 75, which is perfect because that's my perfect temperature is about 68, 67. Um, in fact, I had to turn the air on in my house already, which was I was not happy about. I don't remember the last time I had to turn my air on in May, but it got very warm in here last night. Um, we had all our doors and, and windows open and and uh, the attic fan was running, it was sucking the heat out, but we, I couldn't get up below 76 in here. And I can't sleep in 76 degree temperature, so I had to close everything up. I turned the air on for about an hour. It cooled everything down. I brought it down to 69 or 70, and then I shut it off. And I left it off until about an hour ago, and then I, because it's uh, noon here, and uh, it started heating up again, so... Turn the air back on and it's still on now. So I, you know, for 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 me this plant is perfect because it likes the same temperatures that I do. And, um, and watering, like I said, just don't overwater her. Feeding we covered, light we covered. Propagation, I don't know. That's my honest answer. 
I don't know how you would propagate this. I, I'm thinking since it has a node where the leaves come out, maybe possibly you could cut that off and put it in water or soil, but I, I don't know. I would have to I would have to research that. But I had no reason to, to have that answer yet. So I I'm sorry but I don't know is is my honest and I don't want to give you bad advice. So if you do have one of these and you're looking to propagate, I guess just check out the internet. Someone will someone will have the answer. Okay, so I think that's all I have to say about this one. I'm just very, very happy that she made it. And like I said before, it was down to one measly little stem. About, it was about this thick. It was about like this. And I think you can, I think I even have a close-up of it in one of my older videos. And... It just, it, it it wasn't doing well. I didn't think it was going to make it. So I am so, so happy that it did and that she's growing. And I hope and I can continue to, to grow her up into a big girl. And like I said before, she can grow up to four to six feet indoors. And wouldn't that be something to have a six-foot tree like this in my house? Oh, I would just, I'd be thrilled if that happened. So I'm going to pay special attention to her and hope and wait and see what happens. All right. I know I did have a, a big plant years ago. I had a big uh, uh, ficus tree. And it was behind my sofa. And it was huge. It was about seven feet tall and probably about four, four-ish feet wide. Maybe maybe a little better than that. Very round, very full, and very healthy. <laughs> My <clears throat> daughter came home from school. That's this is many years ago. She was in high school, um, and she's in her forties now. So uh, she came home with a friend of hers, and the next day she said, "Mom, she her friend wanted to know her her friend when they got into the bedroom she said why does your mom have a tree growing in her living room <laughs> and i just thought that was really funny and really telling because i didn't to me it was normal i mean a lot of people have plants but i guess they don't have trees i don't know but yeah she thought that was just the strangest thing and my poor daughter didn't know how to answer that. She said, well, I don't know. It's a plant. She likes plants. So, but that's okay. That's okay. That, it brought, it, it made us chuckle. It brought joy to our day. So, and I'm hoping, I, the reason I brought that up is because this reminds me a little bit of that plant. And I'm hoping this one will get that big too. And uh, maybe she can look up her friend and have her come over and, and see my new tree. All right, well, enough about that. I've kept you long enough. I hope you guys all have a great day. Um, I do have my uh, great-grandson coming over tomorrow, finally, after, oh, my goodness, it's been two months for sure, maybe two months and a week. It's been a long time, <clears throat> and we normally have him over every other weekend. Um, he loves being out here. He loves that he can run around and play in the water and play in the dirt and drive grandpa's tractor and um but they were all sick in their house they were they kept passing this first it was me first i was sick and then they were sick and they kept passing it to each other and i said honey i we have to just stay away from each other until we're all well we can't keep passing this back and forth so and she yeah she agreed wholeheartedly so that's what we did and now everybody's been healthy for a, a week or two. And so we're hoping, keep our fingers crossed, that nobody gets sick and that we can get back to our normal routine and I can enjoy my little, my little grandson. He's so sweet. I love having him. And I, part of it is I don't have any sons. We have a lot of girls in our family and not too many boys. So I, I love having him. I love playing with boy toys too, by the way. I love playing with trucks and army men and 
stuff like I used to do when I was a kid. And I played with my brother and his friends. I, I, I played with dolls too, but I, I much preferred playing army men and soldiers and cowboys with our little guns and crawling around in the dirt. That was that was my fun, and I'm still playing in the dirt. <laughs> So, all right, yeah, that's enough. I'm rattling. I'm going on and on here. But anyway, I hope you guys all have a great day. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. So hang in there one more day, and it'll be the weekend. All right, I hope you all are having great weather there, too, wherever you are. We're supposed to have pretty good weather here till Sunday. I think it's going to rain, but okay, well. That'll be it. Well, take care. Bye now.